Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tiana and this is Tiana's channel where I usually talk about beauty, hair, fashion, and health related topics. So today I wanted to bring you guys a different video I haven't done before. Some tips on how to bring out the natural curl pattern within your hair. If you don't have curly hair, this isn't really going to benefit you at all. But if you do have curly hair, this should definitely help you out. I figured it would be the perfect time to do this going into 2021. If you have New Year's resolutions on how to get your hair together, we are stepping into 2021 looking our best. So these are some tips to help you guys bring out the natural curl pattern in your hair. So make sure you guys are first subscribed to my channel. I post every single Sunday on this channel and make sure you guys hit that like button if you found this helpful whatsoever. Other than that, make sure to stay tuned. So if you have been following my channel for a while, you do know that my hair was damaged and I'm currently in the process of reviving my curls, doing everything I can to get them to pretty much the state that they're in now, but there's still room for improvement. So I just wanted to share with you guys these 10 different things that I've been incorporating into my daily routines and hopes that they will help you. And I have a few videos on some of the tips that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. So if I do have a video on that, I'll be sure to link it up above for you guys. If I can find some photos for you guys, I'll be sure to enter them here somewhere in the video just so you can see what my hair used to look like compared to what it looks like now. So all of these things that I've been doing to my hair are natural, so there's nothing for you to worry about if you're concerned about damaging your hair even more or anything like that. You do not have to worry. These are 10 safe tips for you to be able to take care of your hair and your curls. So Let's go ahead and get started. So while I do have 10 different things on this list, it's not just one thing in particular that will get your hair back to the curliest state possible. So you wanna make sure to do at least most of these if you can, if not all 10. Um, so the first thing I have on my list is trimming your hair. I do have a video on this, so I'll be sure to link it for you guys. And just go in and trim the dead ends. If your hair is heat damaged, I'm here to tell you that there's nothing you can do about that but chop it off. Somebody has to tell you, like, there's nothing you can do. You can try to all these curly remedies, but it's dead. Like, you need to cut it off. I know you don't want to hear it, but that's that's what you need to do. Just cut it off. It sucks in the beginning. Your hair might be a lot shorter, um, but just go in curl by curl and cut it off. And that's exactly what I did in my video. It sucks in the beginning, but your hair will grow back. So if you want long curly hair, um, make sure you're trimming your hair regularly. And along with the trimming, you need to make sure that you're continuously dusting your hair. And that's basically just going in and um, shaping up your hair, getting rid of like the single strand knots in your hair. I know I have a lot of those, so dusting is key. You want to get rid of the single strand knots that are at the end of your hair. The ends of your hair want to curl up, so you don't want any like stragglers hanging out or anything like that. You want to keep your hair nice and trimmed um, consistently too. So on average, six to eight weeks is how often you want to trim your hair, as I mentioned in my trimming video. But sometimes some people are different, so it just depends on your hair and what works for you. So the second thing you can do is stop putting heat on your hair. And this is coming from curling wands, flat irons, curling irons, anything that's hot like that, you do not want to put it on your hair. And I would take this advice even when it comes to blow drying your hair too. Try not to use the heat setting that often. Use cool air, just regular air. And I understand that for some people it's hard to go without heat for a while. So if you do want to put heat on your hair, try not to do it that often. It's been over a year since I put heat on my hair and I know I can go a lot longer without putting heat on my hair. I'm actually starting to like the way my hair looks curly, so um, I feel no reason to put heat on my hair, but I know some people just have to do it. So if you do it, use a heat protectant spray. You don't want to damage the curl pattern at all, so do what you can to protect your natural hair. So the third thing you can do is stay away from chemically treating your hair, and this includes relaxing your hair, color treating your hair. Whenever you put chemicals on your hair like that, it can elongate the strand and relax the strand. And if you want curlier hair, this is the opposite of what you want to do to your hair strand. So make sure you're staying away from any chemicals or any treatments that have a relaxing effect on your hair. So the fourth thing you can do is bond building treatments. And I love bond building treatments so much. And if you look at my channel, you'll see previous videos of mine where I've posted using bond building treatments. Bond building treatments is a natural way to bring back the curl pattern within your hair, your natural curl pattern. This is not creating a curl pattern whatsoever. And it's also not a chemical, a harsh chemical for your hair. You apply it with your hands. There's two brands that I personally like, and that's Olaplex and that's Panola. They're both great products. 
different price points, but there are two products that I can recommend to you for using. I do have a coupon code for Fanola if you guys want to try that. However, I'm more partial to Olaplex and I'm not going to steer you wrong. Yes, I do make a small commission off of Fanola purchases. However, I like Olaplex better and I would never lie to you guys just to make a coin. So that's just my opinion on the two products. I love Olaplex. Fanola does work really well also. But bond building is a great treatment to naturally bring the curls back in your hair. So the fifth thing you can do when your hair is damp or drying, get a diffuser and just do this upward motion of drying your hair. Or you can take your own hands and just crunch it. Do this crunching motion, this upward motion for your hair. This will create more volume and bring out the natural curl pattern in your hair as opposed to letting it air dry. When you're letting your hair air dry, the water is coming down the strands of hair and it's just bringing it down. And the point is to bring it up and curly and just have it big and voluminous and just have a more curlier effect. So the sixth thing you can do is maintain your hair at night by putting it in a pineapple. And this will keep you from sleeping on it and flattening out the curl pattern. That way the next day your hair will still be curly. So by doing this, you'll spend less time trying to revive your curls because you've already preserved the curl pattern from the day before. So the seventh thing you can do is use wide tooth combs or finger detangle your hair. I'm not sure if anyone has explained why using wide tooth combs or finger detangling is a better option. And it's because it creates larger groups of defined curls as opposed to using fine tooth combs or brushes. Sometimes when you brush your hair, especially when it's kind of damp, it just creates this flat effect on your hair. And you want to give your hair a head start with curling by giving it room to curl. So finger detangling gives it plenty of room between strands and so do wide tooth combs. So the eighth thing you can do is when your hair is damp and has good product in it, start finger coiling your hair. And this is something that you will do all around your head. And when your hair starts to dry, it will form the perfect little ringlet that you formed with your finger. I do want to make a finger coiling video in the future, so make sure you guys look out for that. So the ninth thing you can do is use curl defining creams. Curl defining creams. This is not a leave-in conditioner. It's not hot oil treatment. It's curl defining creams. A lot of people wonder why this product isn't working how they think it should and that's because it might not be a curl defining cream. Curl defining creams will bring out the curl definition in your hair and that's exactly what you want especially whenever you're trying to bring out your natural curl pattern. I've also recommended a few in previous videos. The last thing you can do and definitely not the least is deep condition your hair and this is something you might want to do weekly. Deep conditioning is great for your hair health but it's also great for preserving your curl pattern so make sure you're deep conditioning your hair weekly. Alright so those are 10 safe tips you can do to bring out your natural curl pattern so let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. Before you go make sure to subscribe to my channel. I post every single Sunday so I will see you guys right here next week. Bye guys!